What's up? Robin Songbone here, and I just got back, just finished a little jog, and now I'm gonna go do some other little workout things. I'm out here in Schwadorf in Austria, and it is windy and super duper cold out here, but I decided to come out anyways, because when you wanna exercise and you wanna feel good, you gotta live the life. So, Today I'm going to talk to you a bit about momentum, working the ass off. So last night I went out, had a few drinks with some friends, went to a party, danced it up. It was so awesome. And today I realized that I'm a bit tired. And I remembered that last week I talked a lot about working smart and being really efficient with your workouts and not doing things that are um, just a waste of time basically for your, for your exercise and your fitness. What I realized is that in the past few weeks I've been getting really reliant on these core workouts, really reliant on my diet plan because I've lost about 10 pounds in the past two months and it's all been in the gut area super awesome so basically I've trimmed out and I'm feeling really good but I haven't had quite the energy in my joints and everything I've been feeling a bit more achy a lot of that is due to the wind and the cold and the winter nastiness that is Austria and Czech Republic where it is it's really beautiful here but it's almost cold so what I wanted to talk about is the fact that even though it's good to be really efficient with your workouts, you wanna be really good with your momentum building. So that's why I'm out here today. I wanted to do this free flow video, talk about what I feel like with this and see if I can't get some of these points across to you and hopefully it makes some sense. So. Let's see, let's see if I can find a good spot to stop here. It's gonna be cool. There's some nice little, nice little pull-up bars. We've got right here, and we're gonna do a little workout on them. But yeah, so. All right, so, working efficiently, that's awesome. But a big thing is you have to walk the fucking path. You have to work out, you have to exercise, you've got to keep the momentum, you've got to keep the blood flow, you've got to do it. And a really big thing that I've noticed recently is how if you look around there's billboards and there's workout outfits and there's, I even saw a gym bag that some girl was wearing the other day and it said, work out. But this chick was, this chick was, she doesn't work out. Like, I mean, she probably does, but she, she doesn't work out. And is this oversaturation of fitness and 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 I totally understand it it's 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 like it's like what Nike says just do it you know or Sheila Buff you know just do it and it's really cool you know it's it's awesome and it's really motivating but I think what happens with a lot of people is they get over saturated with this this noise this this workout all the time gotta be fit and it's intimidating and it's drains your energy because all you do is think about it it's just, it's like blah 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 the advertisements it's crazy and it doesn't allow you to focus on other things and you get blasted with this stuff and it's it's not it's not healthy to be constantly bombarded with it i think for some people where they have an addictive really addictive personality it's you know they can get addicted to it and really into it but for me i have i have almost nothing addictive about my personality i get very tired of things very quickly so for me, my main thing that I have for walking this, like walking this path of fitness and attaining my goals is to set up insanely good habits. And I'm not talking about habits where I'm like military strict on these habits where I have to work out all the time and, and you know, get up at 5.30 every morning. These, these habits, that's not how I work. I don't work with that rigid st structure because eventually I start to see holes in every 
possible thing. So for me, I have to have a really good habit set up so that I don't stress about these little minute details. So for me, it's, it's you know, it's I work out three times a week and, and keeping the blood flow and exercising and running, taking a jog sometimes or walking. These things are, you know, these things are important to me. All right, so the camera turned itself off on me and I wanted to finish this thought in this video I wanted to have today. So basically, you know, creating these really good habits are what is gonna keep you able to get the things done you need to do and not waste your time on things that don't matter. I mean, it's awesome, get it done, it's really cool, please, check out my Facebook page, Vice Versa Fitness, and also check out my blog, viceversafitness.wix.com slash health. And I can't wait to hear from you. I wanna hear any of your opinions. It'd be great for some feedback. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Yeah, you know.